Hi there. Wednesday night, seven o'clock. Actually, a couple minutes after. If yep, three minutes to be exact. How are you tonight, Johnny Daniel, independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up? We're gonna create tonight from a stamp that's being carried over from the current catalog and also a brand new stamp from the new catalog. So hold on just a sec, let me get set up. I'm running a couple minutes behind and I should know this because it's the end of the school year. It's always crazy. Concerts and finishing up everything and making sure report cards and you know, at least probably. So, oh, let's see. Is it going to load? So much fun. So give me just a second and we will get things rolling. I'm just popping in and out here. So give me a half a sec. So, um, let's see. There we go. We are getting there now. Don't know why, but Wi-Fi's been running really slow today. I don't know if they're fixing something or what's going on. So I've had to be a little patient and I'm not liking it. So I don't know if anybody else has been dealing today or not, but it is what it is. And we're moving on because life is good, regardless if the Wi-Fi is not working. So, uh, let's see here. Come on, load. I have the feeling something updated that's making my computer act funny. That's what I think has happened. But that's about as much as I know, so that's as far as it's going to go also. So anyways, um, let's see what else is going on. Let me get this loaded and then we'll, we'll get moving. I promise. So, yeah, I don't know why. Facebook is just not loading today, so I don't know if it's something with their app or... It's just life. It's okay. Hi, Lise. Hi, Cheryl. Just finishing up here. All right. I think if we're lucky and everything goes right according to plan... We might be okay. So, all right, so I'm gonna get started. All right, so we have another two weeks of the BOGO sale if you are interested at all. Um, let's see, what else is going on? I am getting ready for the VIP event, which is why I'm probably a tiny bit scattered along with the end of school. Um, so, we're gonna do tonight um, some a, from a stamp set that is from the current catalog that is carrying over, as well as a new stamp set called A Good Man. Um, I figured I'd kick off May by um, doing a little bit of a Father's Day card. So there's that. Um, the rewards basket is all up and ready. I need to get that emailed out. So that will be happening later tonight or first thing in the morning. Um, cause all the reward points and everything is calculated and the basket is larger this month because we're getting towards the end of the program. Um, let's see for this year, not the end. Um, let me re-clarify, <laughs> restate. Um, so let's see. So this month is May. You will be able to earn points until June 15th, um, or June 14th, rather. I will post on the 15th, and you will be able to redeem your points until the 30th of June. And then July 1st, we all start over. So any points that you get from June 15th to the end of the month, those will count for the July year, okay? Meaning... Um, 2019 to 20 so not this current set of points shall we say um, so the basket is going to be larger this month and this basket will run 
from May 15th, which is today, um, until June 14th. And then the basket in June will be a tiny bit different. So that'll be cool. Um, so if you don't want to spend your points, you still have opportunities to spend them in June and there will be some different stuff. So don't spend them just to spend them. Do that in June. Um, let's see what else is going on. Everything is rosy is still happening. The VIP event is this weekend. New catalog open house if you are not conservative VIP, even though I love to say that everybody is, but we got to break it down somehow. Um, everybody else will be on the 25th. I will be mailing catalogs for the VIPs after the VIP event on Saturday, so starting Monday, and then um, catalogs will go out for everybody else. Um, the open house is on the 25th, so I will probably start mailing on Friday and have all that ready to go if you're not in the area. Please, if you are in the area, make an attempt to either come out or coordinate with me. Um, it is over a pound, so it's about $7 for me to ship it. So, not a simple feat, but it can be done. Um, let's see, what else is going on? Um, we're finishing out the month. This is the finish of the $10 classes. We have one more class that on the 30th that is a $10 class and then I will be flipping over to the 15. Um, notice too, if you're hosting, there will still be some $10 classes, but they will be programmed a little different, meaning it will be two cards or a project and a card. It won't be three projects or three cards, whatever the case may be. So I just wanna let you know that things are changing a little bit. Um, starting June 1st, guys are welcome as well. Everybody has to buy a kit that attends, so there's no couch surfers. Um, let's see, and I think that's about it. Everything has pretty much been stated in email already, so if you have any questions, please let me know. And that's enough of that kind of stuff, right? Oh, one last thing. Hold on. What you've probably been waiting for. So I actually managed to hit the 45 minutes that the trimmer blades were in stock 45 minutes by the way so i ordered a bunch so i've had a whole bunch of people claim them i have two packs left that are extras i do have a couple left in my stock but i need to be able to work so um i have two packs extra that are left they are six bucks a, a pack shipping and handling they are 7-eleven not to be joked about but yes really so if you would like a pack and have not claimed any already please let me know and I will gladly get them to you I will be in Yucca tomorrow so that's one thing um let's see that's all I have for tonight housekeeping wise so I'm gonna put you down and we're gonna get creating so hold on just a second One sec as we ride, hold on. I know it can be not comfortable, but I try as best as I possibly can. So, I'm a little crooked, hold on. I'm almost done adjusting. And then we're just gonna, I'm gonna move my stuff so you don't have to at all. Okay. How's that look from your angle? I hope okay. And, all right, so I'm going to get back down to where I was so I can see comments and the like. Hey, Cheryl. Hi, Lise. Uh, let's see. Good? Okay, good. So we're going to get moving here. All right, so for tonight, we are doing Father's Day card. I am going a tiny bit simple simply because... Well, it's a little crazy in my house. I will just say that. Um, I've also taken on a new project, so trying to get that moving as well as end of year and beginning a catalog. And yes, I'm still sleeping and yes, I'm still working out. So it's not as bad as it may seem, but I did just finish a workout. So if I'm out of breath, it's because I did 30 minutes on the stairs. They did not win today. I'm happy. All right, so I have already cut out 
Happy Father's Day, stamped in basic gray, if you want to pay attention with that, um, and have it exact. And then this is out of the geared up garage, as well as the thinlets, okay? And then this is the brand new set called A Good Man. Um, it's available in Kling. And um, so tonight, we're going to be stamping with the lounge chair guy. The it's your day and relax your way okay these are gonna be in the middle of the card and the happy Father's Day will be on the front so that's what we're doing tonight so let me move to the side so that way we can keep everything rolling right okay so it's your day we're gonna move down a tiny bit on this block love cling cuz it sticks if you don't like how much it sticks Here's a tip for you. Put your hand across that sticker a couple times. Make sure you don't have lotion on when you do it, but the natural oils in your hand will take a little bit of that sticky out and you'll be able to do what you want to do. Okay, so just a heads up. All right, so I am just trying to pay attention here so I can actually get this straight. I know all these things and I keep forgetting to turn that alarm off sorry about that you guys <laughs> so next time I will have to remember to not program that all right so I have thick whisper white cardstock okay and I have got basic black and basic gray cut matted and ready to go so all I have to do is glue this baby together, okay? So I'm going to grab my snail adhesive and just run this down the Whisper White. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to set that to the side because we're not dealing with that too much. So on the front of this, we are going to put a tiny bit of ribbon. Now this ribbon is the glittered organdy ribbon basic black with a little bit of silver overlay. So I figured that would match fairly well with our neutral tones that we're trying to accomplish here. Okay, so anytime you want to do neutral, make sure to not have anything in the palette of pinks. Sometimes purples because a lot of the purples have pink undertones, which is not good when you're dealing with guys. Well, unless they like pink. We have a couple of those, but Generally speaking, you want to stay with the blue undertones and the grays and the blacks and the browns, okay? So, if here's another tip for you. I don't know if you've realized this or not, but usually, and I say usually because I've had one or two rolls that I think happened on a Friday afternoon when somebody served margaritas because they were all cattywampus. Um, the spacing was just all out of whack. But usually these are pretty equally spaced, so what you can do... And I don't start at the end because that's what's going to wrap around. But you can very easily push, push, push. And then take off. Take off. Oh, that one's not going as easy, but that's okay. The warmth of your hand makes it so they pull off fairly easy. And then you've got it all set, ready to go. And how easy was that, right? So... Um, the other thing is I'm going to grab my take your pick tool. You want to try very hard to not have your fingers touch these glue dots as much as possible because the oil in your hand will take the sticky out. Okay. So you want to, if you don't have a take your pick tool, grab a tip of a scissors, grab a piercing tool, um, something halfway sharp that can dig under and, and get it. So Okay, so that's what I've got so far. I am going to do my stamping now with my lounge chair guy. Just doing a basic gray. I don't want him to really stand out. I just want him to be simple, to the point, ready to go. Okay, so I'm going to grab that. Sometimes we let the stamp speak instead of everything else, right? Okay, so... And I'm looking for my dimensionals. Hello, they're right under my nose, of course. So with dimensionals, you want to not run right up to the edge. Because you don't want to see them, right? Okay, so there we go. So we're going to peel these guys off. If you have trouble peeling them off, you can always 
put your fingernail in the center of those to make them pop up. And I'm just going to grab this down underneath almost the ribbon. One other, one other tip for you, if you're doing the ribbon and um, you want this to stick on here, glue dots are a very good option. If you want dimensionals, make sure to offset your dimensionals so it doesn't hit the ribbon, so it doesn't peel off as easily, okay? So that is gonna be the front of my card. I might choose to do some bling with it, so hold on a second, we'll, we'll see what we get, right? So I'm gonna throw this on here. Hopefully it's fairly straight. Um, oh, I got some stickies coming through because that's organ, uh, organza or organdy ribbon. Um, if you do that, easy way to fix that is to grab your embossing buddy. If you don't have an embossing buddy, you can grab a used dryer sheet and just tap it across the way. And then you can either grab a paintbrush or just blow it off. Because I don't have a paintbrush right off the top, you know, a sponge dauber also works. So a lot of different options for you. Okay. So the other thing is if you're not really sure of your stamping, if you have just started, you might want to stamp the inside of the card first. So that way, if you mess up, you don't have the whole front of your card already done or just wait to glue it on. Oh, that's nice and crooked. Well, that would be me now, won't it? <laughs> so, all right, so we've got that going on. And let's figure out some bling here because we got to do some bling, right? So hopefully I have some silver. If not, I've got some neutrals. Not really sure what's left in the, in the pot, shall we say. So I'm just gonna dig through. I do have some silver, awesome. So I can bring out that ribbon. That's gonna look perfect. Okay, so these are our metallic pearls. Those will still be available in our new catalog. Um, this is the putty side of the take your pick tool. So when you do it, first off, you gotta make sure it's not dried out. And then to bring some more up, you're just going to screw it so it comes out, okay? And then I always just push it a little bit rounder so that way when I do it, they actually come off, okay? So I've got that going on. So I'm just gonna randomly place, Ooh, it's so sticky it doesn't wanna let it go. <laughs> How nice. So I'm just gonna randomly place some of my metallic pearls. These are the silver ones, obviously. They also come in gold for the metallic ones. I'm um, not sure in the new catalog if there's a whole bunch more new colors. I know before we had the Share What You Love embellishments, but those have been retired, or are retiring rather. So, and they had metallic pink, green, and yellow, I believe it was, so. Um, when you're doing embellishments, you want to make sure to do an odd number, unless you're trying to fill in a picture or something specific. Just with the layout and how things work with the eye, you generally just want to keep an odd number going. Okay, so I've got seven so far. Yeah, I'm going to keep going a little bit. Sometimes it just takes one more, right? And then you got to do two more because it's got to be even. So, so I've got that and then... Okay, so that's my simple card for Father's Day just to get things started. And like I said, we're I'm gearing up for the VIP event and all the other stuff happening right now. So, lots of stuff coming up. Very cool. But it takes time, it takes a little bit of work. So, anyways, without anything else, I'm going to encourage you to follow me on stampingwithjohnny.com. Thanks so much for joining me tonight and have a great evening. Bye-bye.